Working in teams is an essential part of creating amazing augmented reality experiences. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to get started with 8th Wall Source Control. Multiple developers can work on the same project at the same time using the 8th Wall Cloud Editor, enabling rapid development and efficient workflows. The 8th Wall Cloud Editor uses a source control system similar to other popular source control systems, such as Git. Today, I'm working together with my partner Ian to update a sample project. Changes made in the Cloud Editor are only reflected locally in the user count they are made in. To demonstrate a local change, I'll update the color of this box by changing the hex color right here. Then I'll click Save and Build. Notice that the changes will show locally on my project, but not in my partners. If you look here on the right, you'll see this purple box will turn to the hex color I specified, which is a blue color. If I want my partner to see the updated color, I need to land my code. Landing is similar to committing and pushing code in Git. To land my code, I'll click the Land button in the top right corner of the Cloud Editor. The Land button turns green and is made clickable when there are new local changes. I'll name my changes right here and click Land. I can also choose to click Land and publish my code at the same time, effectively updating the publicly published project URL with my changes. Since our project is not yet complete, I'll choose to just land it. Now that Ian's changes have been landed, I'll sync my repository to see the latest changes. Notice the style of the sync button in the top left corner of the cloud editor has been updated. This purple bar indicates that new changes have been landed to the project. To see the latest changes, all I have to do is click sync. I can now save and build to test the newest version of our project. Working in Teams is easy with the 8th Wall Cloud Editor. To get started developing, visit the 8th Wall website and start building the real-world metaverse.